Okay, 3.2, investigate slope and y-intercept. So y-intercept is the y-coordinate of the point where the graph intersects the y-axis. Okay, the value of y when x equals 0. Okay, because when we're laying on the x-axis, x equals 0. Because okay, there's no left or right shift. And then here are a couple more points. Any linear relation can be modeled by the uh, by an equation of the form y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. Conversely, if m and b are de can be determined, a linear relation equation can be generated. Example one for each linear relation in the form y equals mx plus b, like below, identify the slope, which is m, and the y-intercept, which is b. So when we're doing these, we could simply stack y equals mx plus b, and this will be the m, the number in front of x, which is 1, and this will be the b, the number tagged on, maybe it's like to the back of the equation, which in this case is 2. Okay, for b, y equals mx plus b. So m is 2. And see how we don't actually have a b here? That would mean that it would be plus 0, so 0. Okay, so we'll have mx plus b. The m is negative 2, and the b is negative 3 over 4. Okay, this one's a little bit different because we don't have an x value in here. So actually to rewrite this, this can also be looked at as 0x plus 1, right? If we want it into the form mx plus b, it'd be 0x because, again, that would cancel to nothing. Okay, so m is 0, b is 1. Okay, and then e and f are a little bit different because these two numbers would have to switch positions, right? So to rewrite this equation, I would have to rewrite it as, I'll rewrite it down here, y equals 4x minus 3. And then we're able to read the mx plus b from that. So m is 4, b is negative 3. Same thing for this one. I'll write it to the side. This would be negative 1 over 2x plus 2. So the m is negative 1 half, and the b is 2. Example 3, write the equation for each line by first determining the slope and y-intercept. Okay, so I'm actually going to do the y-intercept first because we can just look at the graph and pick it out. So this line intersects this y-axis at 2. Now the slope. I'm going to go with the two points that they, they plotted for us. So I'm going to go with this point here and this point here. So it's going to go up 1, 2, 3, and over 1, 2, 3. Okay, so we'll have 3 over 3, which is 1. Therefore, the equation is y equals 1x plus 2. If you don't put that 1 in there, that's okay. y equals x plus 2. Okay, same thing for the second equation or the second line. We can pick out that... Our line intersects the y-axis right here at 8. Okay, and then we have, um, I'm going to draw it in green. Let's use the two points that they, that they plotted here. I'm going to go down and over. So if we're going down, we have to look really closely because this is graph. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12 down. So that would be like negative 12. 1, 2, 3, 4. And 4 over. So I'm going to go negative 12 over 4, which gives us negative 3. The equation of this line here is going to be y equals negative 3x plus 8. Okay. The relationship, example four, the relationship between temperatures in degrees uh, Fahrenheit and degrees Celsius is linear. 
for the linear equation, and here's the, uh, here's the equation, f equals 1.8c plus 32. Identify the slope and the y-intercept. So the slope is 1.8 and the y-intercept is 32. So the exact same thing, reading an equation, but just this time in the form, form of a word problem. Example 5, the cost to rent the hall for a hockey banquet is modeled by this equation. C equals 35N plus 3,000, where C represents the total cost in dollars and N represents the number of people attending the banquet. So if you actually think about this in the form, oh, I put Y, oops, N, okay, in the form Y equals MX plus B, we can see that the slope is 35 and the y-intercept is 3,000. Now, A, what is the slope in this equation? M equals 35, and what does it re represent, okay? So the slope is multiplied by N, and N is the number of people attending. So the slope is, it costs $35 for each person to attend, and B, what is the y-intercept in this equation? We said it was 3,000, and what does it represent? Okay, there's a flat fee of $3,000 to hold the party, to hold the banquet.